Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, working with you to make your game nights better. So a Cardboard Coat Check is the silly name we give to our unboxing videos because I'm checking in this game to my collection. And what I have here is Thrones of Valeria. This is a new game from Daily Magic Games set in the Valeria universe, which they publish a number of different games for. This one happens to be a trick-taking game. And I've got to say, trick-taking is huge. I love trick-taking games. I grew up playing trick-taking games. I happen to be part of Canada where everyone grew up playing Euchre and Spades and Hearts. So I am really looking forward to checking this game out. But first off, I do have to thank Daily Magic Games for sending us a review copy of this game. So what we have here is a, I think it plays six players. Yeah, two to six player, 30 to 45 minute trick-taking card game where winning tricks is not the big thing. It's got an interesting market mechanic. But that's not what we're here for. I'm not here to teach you how to play or teach you the game. I just want to show you what you get in the box. And we're going to start that off by cracking the shrink. All right, so this Valeria game, all of these small box Valeria games are actually by different designers. This one comes from Matt Jacobs um, with artwork by the Miko, who I love Miko's artwork. This is a, in particular, I love this piece by Miko. With the, with the various races sitting around playing the game. I think that's a fantastic piece of artwork. So what we have inside is, of course, the instructions. So we're going to flip through this quick. There's the story of it. And we've got a very daily Magic Games looking rulebook. They have a certain setup for the... They obviously use the same layout designer every time. We are going to have a board later. It tells you the, explanation, the, the objective of the game, the game flow. Then it goes through a sample trick for people who don't know trick-taking. Um, then we just have the card powers. So literally the rules, we're looking at five pages, really. And then we get into every card does something in this game and what those cards do. And then a quick play reference. So of all these small box Valeria games so far, this is definitely the simplest. Then we have coins. Um, all we have here is just two different coins to punch out. I do dig that they went with the, the hole in the middle. So we have silver and gold, which is a solid piece. Two different coin currencies here i'm a little surprised this being daily magic games that we didn't get wooden gold coins because they use those in so many of their other games not necessarily disappointed just surprised because daily magic is known for using the same components everywhere so we have player reference cards in their own little separate thing which is kind of neat i appreciate this so i'm going to crack this open these should be all the same so all it is is the icons on the cards explained in very small text. But you know what? It's better than nothing and in a whole overview of gameplay. We have a pack of those, six of them for six players. Six player trick taking. That already almost has me sold. We'll get to the actual deck of cards last. Now these are guild tokens. So there are five suits in this game. And there is one token here for each of the guilds. And these are awesome. They're like Bakelite, Mahjong tile style. All oh, these feel great. They really do. Um, they're only one-sided. I kind of wish they were two-sided just because it didn't matter, but it doesn't hurt. These are going to go into this awesome bag. I dig it. I like the art. It's a nice silk feeling bag. You're going to throw these in here and shake it up. Then we're going to build the board. It's just a two-piece puzzle fit. There you go. It's not much of a board, but what you have is this, it, it represents the table you're playing on. You're going to pull these out and you're going to put them up in order. So it fits really well. looks great. Not, again, this is not meant to be a teach, so I'm not even going to explain what these numbers are for. Gives you a place to also put the deck, and then when players are playing their tricks, they're going to put them in their spot. So player one, two, three, four, five. With less players, you would use less spots. So the only thing we have left to do is take a look at the cards themselves. I will note you have a trough-style box insert, obviously designed mainly to get these components to you without them being damaged, as well as sticking to a standard size. It looks like everything's going to fit nice in here. Um, I'm going to have an extra baggie because I'm going to keep these in here, which is awesome because now I have a baggie to put the gold coins in. But what we're worried about next are the cards as this is a trick-taking game. So we're hoping for good quality cards with clear iconography. First though, we got to figure out how to get the shrink wrap off. It's got one of those quick releases. Here we go. Deck of cards. Obviously all the same card backs. Card quality feels like a card. Feels like a playing card. I wouldn't say it's quite bicycle level. Feels like a playing card. Let's see how clear they look. Okay, so we have the five different suits and they're sorted by number. Um, so all the ones have the same artwork, yeah. So the ones all have the same artwork. Nice to see there is an icon there with the colors. It's not super easy to see in the image there. 
So instead of just yellow, you also have the suit as suns. And instead of, you know, whites and that, you have like a cross. The red's a little hard to see. I guess, say the red and the purple. I don't know if you're having as hard a time as I am, but like that could have been a bit darker. The 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 symbol for, for what suit that is could have definitely been darker. And I don't see anything in the card except for the color to differentiate the suits. That could be an issue for, for some people. Now, I haven't, I, don't, I am not colorblind myself, but I worry that, that those little symbols are going to be a little hard to see. The other thing that I, I am not a fan of as a trick-taking game is the cards only work one way. I much prefer double-sided cards. These do not work the other way. Pet peeve of mine, I would have duplicated the numbers in the other corner. This is what this card does. I have no idea. I would have to look it up in the book. Then we have the twos, which have a different ability. So it looks like every two is the same. So the suit color doesn't actually change what they do. Threes. Oh, I went too far. Fours. Again, I dig the artwork here. The artwork's nice. It's interesting to see more line art style from the Miko. Six. Six looks complicated. Sevens. Eights. Nines. And there are three Jokers, actually numbered. Joker one, two, three, that all have unique artwork on it. I dig that. And they're in a different color than the rest of the suits. Yeah, these feel nice. Like, that's... That's a nice set of cards. They're a little stiff, but they're brand new. They riffle shuffle pretty well. Oh, that's nice. These work. It's a nice set of cards. All right, that's it. We're going to put it in here. Uh, not a great way to protect these so they don't slide around, but it'll work. It's not terrible. Maybe I'd put them in the bag here. I'm going to put this in. Uh, obviously I would punch all these, put them in the plastic baggie, but I'm not going to do that now and make you watch. So there you have it. What you get in Thrones of Valeria, a, how many to six, two to six player. So two to six player trick-taking game. I love the fact to play two. Many trick-taking games aren't as great with two, better with three. It'll be interesting to see if that's the case with this one. I love the fact to six player. I like trick-taking games. I grew up playing trick-taking games, but almost every trick-taking game out there is four players only. I love finding trick-taking games with more and higher player counts. So I'm looking forward to that. Love the artwork. Iconography is clear, though. I do wish it was on both sides of the cards. I wish I, I hate having to orientate my cards so they only fit one way. But you know what? That's a small niggling thing. It's not, not that big a deal. Board looks solid. I love the component quality on the guild tiles. Those are really nice. And what's nice about those is they have to get shuffled up and they're going to get pulled in a bag and they're going to bang around a lot. That's going to protect them. Because if you did that with cardboard chits over time, if you play the game enough, they could get damaged. It's nice to see those won't. Card quality seemed excellent. It was easy to riffle shuffle. Um, no real complaints about this. Looking forward to trying it out. Again, that was Thrones of Valeria from Daily Magic Games, a two to six player trick taking game. Where I'll be sharing my thoughts on this will be at tabletopbellhop.com as well as our YouTube channel and the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which I think would be awesome if you went and found on your podcatcher of choice and subscribed to. It'd also be awesome if you subscribe to our YouTube uh, channel as well and ding that bell so you get notified if we go live. Uh, you can also watch us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash tabletopbellhop. Where, for example, I recorded this live in front of a live studio Twitch audience. Not a live studio audience. Uh, chat room on Twitch watching me do this. Um, no matter where you happen to be watching this. Other than that, uh, I don't have much else to say. You can follow me on social media everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. And watch for me sharing pictures of when I actually get this to the table with my gaming group. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing video. Good day and game on.